Well, so in this uh, lecture, so mostly is a tutorial. So we are going to solve uh, some uh, problems related to the lectures uh, we had in this week. So the mostly the 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 you know, tube wells or you know hydraulics. So let's see. So here the example uh, one, if you see. So, the thickness of a capillary zone above the water table varies. So, this was uh, given in 2017 gate exam. So, uh, thickness of capillary zone above the water table. So, if you see, so uh, remember the zones, right. So, this is a water table zone and soil water zone and intermediate zone, and there is a capillary zone here which is uh, attached to the water table, right. So, this uh, this water table, this is called a capillary zone. So, this capillary zone above the water table. So, the thickness, thickness in the sense the rise. So, the rise whether uh, the rise here or rise there. So, this thickness definitely uh, depends on uh, I mean the pore size of the soil. Suppose a smaller pore size versus larger pore size for some sandy soils, sandy soils the thickness is you know smaller whereas the clay soils the thickness is higher. So, that means the it, it rises uh, high because the smaller pores the capillary the surface tension is more and then the capillary rise will be more. The second example if you see, so a cavity well is a tube well which has. So, the ca cavity well as I mentioned in the uh, uh, lectures it does not has any screen pipe. Uh, so, no screen pipe or no strainer uh, whereas, uh, it can have a blind pipe ok. Only blind pipe it, it has there is no screen pipe. And the example 3 uh, the sum of specific yield specific retention for an unconsolidated geological formation is equal to its of course, total porosity. So, the porosity which is equal to uh, S R plus S Y, this is specific retention and specific yield. Okay. And example 4, so Dupit force mirror assumptions are uh, used for analyzing groundwater flow in unconfined aquifer. Okay. Uh, so, then uh, the capillary water is held in the soil due to the surface tension of course. So, these things are these things can be answered and then there is an example if you see a watershed of 100 kilometer square is underlain by unconfined aquifer having hydraulic conductivity of 15 meter per day and specific yield 0.2. So, if 30 million meter cube of water is pumped from this aquifer through uniformly distributed wells the average drop of water table over the watershed in meters will be. So, you have an area right this is 100 kilometer square of area and uh, there is unconfined aquifer let us there. Uh, so, this is the well this is the well. So, there are series of wells there is unconfined aquifer ok and uh, this hydraulic conductivity k is 15 meter per day. Okay, specific yield of well like specific yield is uh, uh, point 0.2 like S y is equal to point 0.2 and if 30 million meter cube of water is pumped. So, Q is equal to 30 million meter cube uh, pumped from the aquifer through uniformly distributed wells. The average drop of water table right what is the drop of water table uh, over the watershed in meters will be how much. So, that is the question ok. Area is given Q is given specific yield is given ok. So, the change in uh, storage groundwater storage is equal to area of aquifer drop in water table and specific yield ok. So, this is the formula. So, the area into drop that is height. So, let us say that is H into specific yield S y ok 
So, that will give. Uh, so, now you can find out the drop. So, change in water storage, change in water storage is given 30 million meter cube of water is been pumped out, area is given, drop in water table need to be uh, estimated, point to specific yield. So, you put the values and uh, you get 1.5 meters of drop. Okay, then example 7. So, here a fully penetrating tube well in a 30 meter deep uh, confined aquifer. Okay, so, thickness of aquifer is uh, 30 meter and hydraulic conductivity is 4 into 10 power minus 4 meter per second um, and the discharge is 50 liter per second. Okay. And then the drawdown and radius of influence are 5 meter and 250 meter respectively. So, the radius of influence are and drawdown is 5 meter okay. and determine the tube well uh, in uh, sorry the diameter of tube well uh, in mm is what. So, this is a uh, problem. So, thickness is given, hydraulic conductivity is given and uh, discharge is given and capillary or radius of influence and the, and the drawdown is given. So, since it is uh, uh, a confined aquifer, right. So, the equation for confined aquifer, so flow in confined aquifer Q is equal to 2 pi k into B into H minus H W divided by L n by R by R W. Okay. So, which is equal to, so H minus H W, so this is S, right. So, and put the values 2 pi k B S by L n R by R W. So, then so, next uh, you put all the values uh, given um, except R w right. So, then R w can be estimated using by simplifying this. So, finally, you get R w is equal to 133 mm okay. and the diameter is twice R w like 2 into R w so which is equal to 266 mm. Okay, so, seventh example here. Uh, so, unconfined aquifer covering an area of 50 hectares has hydraulic conductivity 20 meter per day okay, and uh, specific yield 12 percent. After a significant rainfall event, the water table rises uh, from 17 meter to 14.5 meter below the ground level. So, that means here. So, this is the ground level. So, this is initial uh, level which is 17 meter. So, so he, your datum is here now. So, this is 17 meter then after the recharge due to rainfall. So, this, this water table uh, rise to 14.5 meter. Okay, so, that is the datum. If you take uh, that in top surface because of the rise, so this is 17 meter and it is uh, like 14.5 meter from top okay, below the ground surface. So, assume no abstraction and outflow from ground water during the recharge period. The amount of ground water recharge contributed by the rainfall is what? So, that is the question. So, there is no outflow right uh, from the, the ground surface. Okay, and no abstraction. So, whatever amount of uh, rainfall which is falling on the ground is infiltrating. So, then so what would be the uh, recharge due to rainfall? So, if area is 50 hectare and specific yield 12 percent. So, change in groundwater storage. So, that is area of aquifer drop in water table specific yield just like in the previous example. So, areas given that is uh, uh, so unconfined aquifer covering an area of 50 hectares, a hydraulic conductivity of 20. So, here uh, 50 hectares, this is 50 hectares. Um, so, this should be 50, okay. and then a drop is given, 
and specific yield is given. So, this is not 100, but this is 50, just correct it to 50 hectares. Okay. So, and then uh, convert hectares into uh, so convert. So, this is 50 into 10,000, right? 15, 10,000 into 17 minus 14.5 into 0 0.12. Okay. So, then uh, this is uh, 50, sorry, 15 to 10 power 4 into this is 2.5 into 0 0.12. Okay. So, so you will get uh, I mean 50 half. So, if it is 100 means half of this you get, right. So, 150 is 75. Um, yeah. So now, now, now you get uh, the value which will be equal to uh, fifty. So two point five. So two point five. That means uh, so twelve. Uh, so this is twelve point five. So, 50 into 2.5, so that, that will be 125, right? 125 into 0.12 into 10 power 4, okay? So, 0.12 is uh, 12 by 100, right? So, then finally, so let us say find out the value here. Uh, so, if this is 100, then it is fine, otherwise 50. So, we'll put the values and just correct it. Okay. So, go to the next uh, example here. In a falling head per millimeter test, right, this is a falling head per millimeter test, the initial head is 0.3 meter, the head drops uh, 0.1 meter in 40 minutes, the permeability of soil sample 0 0.06 meter high. And the 50 into 10 power minus uh, 4 meter square in cross sectional area is found to be 1 into 10 power minus 6 uh, meter per second. The size of the uh, stand pipe is. So, in case of falling head, if you see, so this is the uh, specimen, right, and over that, oh, um, so if this is the specimen, then over that there is a the pipe, okay, and here this is a Q is coming in. So, if this is the datum, so initially, so here there is a tube, small tube, uh, a graduated tube. So, water will be initially at, at point, this is H1, let us say, okay. and after some time, so the height will be H2, right. So, here A, capital A is area of cross section, here small a is area of cross section of, uh, of the tube. Now, find out what is area of cross section. So, here in case of falling head per millimeter test, the formula for hydraulic conductivity K is equal to A into L. So, L is the uh, length of the soil specimen and the capital A is the area of cross section of soil, soil specimen, small a is the area of uh, the tube and delta T is the time interval and H1, H2 the initial head and final head during the time. So, using the values, right. So, the, the values is not given is small a, otherwise all values are given. Now, you find out what is small a using the formula, okay. That is 1.82 in 10 power minus 4 meter square. Okay. So, so, this example there is an unconfined aquifer is pumped at the constant rate 10 liter per second and steady state drawdowns measure at a radial distance of 30 meter and 60 meter or 0 0.8 and 0 0.7 uh, meter respectively. Original thickness of aquifer is 30 meter, transmissivity of the aquifer is what? So, T is you have to find out. So, a uh, original thickness of aquifer that is H naught uh, that is given. 30 meter 
okay. and steady state uh, drawdowns measures at distance r 1 at r 1 uh, and s 1 r 2 s 2. So, these values are given and q also given 10 liter per second. So, since it is unconfined aquifer, so find out the uh, formula for unconfined aquifer that is T is equal to Q into ln R 2 by R 1 divided by 2 pi into L 1 dash minus L 2 dash uh, sorry S 1 dash by minus S 2 dash where S 1 dash is equal to S 1 minus S 1 square by 2 h right. So, T now T is equal to um, 864 into ln of 60 by 30 okay, 60 by 30 and then 2 pi into so, S 1 is given right S 1 is given and S 1 square by 2 h. So, this is uh, h let us say capital H okay, this is capital H. So, put the values uh, the first find out S 1 dash. So, that is 0 0.789 similarly S 2 dash S 2 dash is equal to S 2 minus S 2 square divided by 2 h and you get this. The finally, if you substitute the values your transmissivity is equal to 982.29 meter square per day. Okay. Okay, so, in this tutorial uh, we covered uh, the problems from uh, confined aquifer, right, unconfined aquifer and also hydraulic conductivity uh, problem. Okay. So, remember the formulas in case of I mean flow to confined aquifer and flow to unconfined aquifer and also the how to estimate the hydraulic uh, parameters such as the uh, hydraulic conductivity and transmissivity in both uh, confined and unconfined aquifers okay, by uh, knowing the drawdown uh, values. Okay. So, uh, these are very important then other thing is suppose uh, so, how to find out the recharge uh, or, or the amount of water which is pumped from an aquifer when you have change in you know drawdown right or change in drawdown. So, that also we have covered two problems. So, um, so work on these problems uh, I mean the study state and study state would be enough for, for the uh, uh, most of you know the uh, irrigation wells. So, in in detail the unsteady state of flow to the wells can also be you know studied uh, in case of you know tube wells and pumps there is a uh, separate chapter for the uh, separate course on that. So, um, so I think in this we are going to co we covered only the, the steady state problems ok and the next uh, we are going to and the next week we are going to see the pumps types ok and mostly the uh, centrifugal pump and uh, uh, positive displacement pumps and then pump characteristics, affinity loss and some problems related to pump characteristics and then uh, the mostly the centrifugal pump and how to estimate power in case of centrifugal pump and total head in case of centrifugal pump. So, all these things we will be uh, discussing the next week. Uh, so, with that we are going to finish both wells and pumps in, in you know in the short ok. So, thank you.